former Fox News host Bill O'Reilly has come forward and shared shocking details of the recent plot to attack President Trump's reputation. O'Reilly has questioned the person who put up a harassment tape which raised questions about the motives behind new allegations that have been made against Trump. His very own investigators have brought forward information on an anti-Trump attorney offering women money to file sexual assault charges against President Trump. O'Reilly told Newsmax that investigators working for him had uncovered an audio recording of an anti-Trump attorney offering an unidentified woman $200,000 to file sexual harassment charges against then-presidential candidate Donald J. Trump. It exists, O'Reilly said. We have urged the person who has the tape to hand it over to the, the United States attorney because my investigative team believes there are three separate crimes on the audio tape. O'Reilly tells Newsmax his attorneys have listened to the tape. O'Reilly stated he is not in possession of the recording, but the conversation is believed to have taken place before last year's presidential election. O'Reilly insists, it's related to my situation, and when the tape emerges you will see why. I can't say any more than that, but it is related to my situation. After a controversial 2005 Access Hollywood tape was leaked last October that recorded Trump boasting about groping or kissing women, several women stepped forward to claim the billionaire had engaged in an appropriate activity with them. None were former employees and none claimed Trump engaged in physical coercion. Trump has brushed off allegations, including a recent court subpoena from one woman. All I can say is it's totally fake news just fake, Trump declared. It's fake, it's made up stuff. And it's disgraceful what happens. The issue of sexual harassment has received renewed attention in the wake of revelations Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein had engaged in predatory actions against women, with some claiming he had raped them. Bill O'Reilly is thankfully one of President Trump's strongest supporters and is one longtime friend who has not tried to score points or get famous by attacking Trump. But he knows they are out there, people who would do anything to take down or severely damage President Trump. The left will literally stop at nothing in their quixotic quest to take down Trump and his presidency. Which means they hate democracy because Trump won fair and square. America had to make a choice, and we made it. History not jealous liberals will be the ultimate judge of Trump's two terms. And maybe that is why they are so terrified of Trump. He is a game-changing candidate and the establishment will never be the same. Their power will be gone with their corruption and their bloated government salaries, and even more bloated no good government contracts. And then there are the lobbyists who know the gravy train is coming to an end. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America.